back to our channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is fanny lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our second youtube channel called fanny and jesse 2.0 you can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we also have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon, you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys are doing never goes unnoticed, and we are very, very grateful. So, thank you. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this today i'm going to be reacting to why does dr zaki give references from the scriptures of hindus christians buddhists and skis so without wasting time let's get into the video amin nuruddin from hyderabad india i work in a shipping company in jeddah saudi arabia since I am your biggest fan, MashaAllah, I've got many biggest fans, Alhamdulillah. Since I am your biggest fan, many of my Muslim friends and cousins ask me that, why does Dr. Zakir give references to non-Muslims from their scriptures? Whereas Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to give dawah only with the Quran. Why did he study all the Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Christian scriptures? Why not only give references from the Quran? This is a very good question. This is a very important question. But let me tell you, this is the misconception of your friends to tell you that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only quoted from the Quran. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are various hadith, various hadith, in which the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did tell them, why don't you read your scriptures? What does the scripture say about this? And, and, and the famous hadith of Bukhari, where the Prophet said, Balligu anni walo aya. Propagate even if you know one verse. And he continues and says, there is no harj, there is no objection if you quote from the scriptures of the Heli Kitab, from the Jews and Christians. And one of the best verses, the most important verse according to me, of doing dawah in the Quran, is from Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Kul ya al Kitab, say, O people of the book, ta'alaw ila kalimatin sawa im bainan o bainakum, come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah, na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushrika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partner with him. Wala yatakhidha baadun abadun arbabun minunillah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fa'in tawallah. And if they turn back, fa'kulu shadu. Say he bear witness. Bianna muslimun. That we are Muslims bowing away to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here in this verse of the Quran, Allah is saying, tell to the Ahli Kitab, to the Jews and Christians, to the people of the book talo ila kalimatin sawa im bainuna bainakum come to common terms as between us and you my question is how will you come to common terms between the hale kitab and muslims unless you don't know the scriptures so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you read the scriptures of the hale kitab and tell them to come in common terms and the most important term is allah na'buda illallah that we worship them but allah so Allah is giving us guidance to read the scriptures of the Heli Kitab. Why? For doing dawah. One third of the Quran is addressed to the Jews and Christians. Kul ya al kitab, kul ya al kitab, to Jews and Christians. Many verses say, do not the children of Israel know what are the favors that Allah has provided them. Now where will you come to know this? From the scriptures. Many verses of the Quran say, is it not mentioned in your scriptures? It says Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the uh, uh, Torah and the Injil, several verses. So Allah says, Allah talks about the scriptures of the Hale Kitab. Allah talks about the Christian, about the scriptures of the non-Muslims. And one of the usul of dawah is come to common terms. Talking about similarities is better than talking about differences with any non-Muslim. Not only Jews and Christians, whether it be the Hindus, whether it be the Buddhists, whether it be the Sikh. So the reason I'm doing comparative religion is because that is the guidance given to us by Allah and His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those people who have less knowledge about the Quran and Hadith, they say that you should not quote the Quran and that, that you should not quote the Bible and the Veda and the Gita. 
anyhow it is not a fard that you should know the scriptures of the non muslim to dawa it is mustahab it is better you will be more effective but you can very well do dawa even without knowing the scriptures of the non muslim but this is a strategy that has that has been encouraged in the quran by allah subhanahu wa taala and by beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam very interesting video i always say you can't just hear something and believe it you just can't read one book and believe whatever that book is part of gaining knowledge is actually going out and reading different books you have to not study per se but you have to study these things be it religious books be it school work you just can't rely on one book so for you you have to be open minded to look into other um published works so when you go out there you read that's when you you sometimes you have to compare not sometimes you find similarities sometimes you take down um the differences there's just so many things that go on that's why you shouldn't limit yourself by just saying but the bible says this and you just base your entire life on the bible also like i said be open minded to check out other works that have been published as well otherwise this was very clear he made it very short and clear and i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did let me know what you think do you think he's right by what he said or he's wrong you just have to read one thing and he as good as it gets make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video